is the stock market a casino and can you really time it? Um, the efficient market hypothesis states that you will always revert back to mean. That you may have periods of crowd psychology but generally you always revert back to mean. Um, I feel the efficient market hypothesis in the long run may has its grounds but it is the market is far from efficient in truth. Um, so we can have reversions from mean for an extended period. In fact there can be new paradigms of valuation but those are also often proven to be it's different this time only for it to be found out not to be so. So um, the, 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 the stock market captures the, the voting machine of opinion of what a share or an equity may be perceived to be worth. And it is, however, subject to forces such as supply and demand. If there is a wall of cash that has no place to hide, valuations can be pushed too far. And that normally needs recognizing. Um, I don't see it as a casino, however. Um, it, is, it serves a, a better purpose than that in terms of its capital raising ability for small businesses um, and investment uh, farm for people that use their heads, invest in wise industries and well-managed businesses. Um, but you can have uh, substantial moves from um, true, a, a true valuation as much as such a concept exists. So that was the one thing um, on the casino. What was the other part of your uh, question in that? Can you time it? Can you time it? I believe, technical analysts believe that um, timing is possible. Um, it can even, in select criteria circumstances, even become probable. Um, there is never, however, a guarantee. In other words, it's almost like a Newtonian or an Einstein discussion in space. Something that is moving will continue to move unless an equal and opposite force is applied to it. So in the sense of a trend, you view that, you come into a continuation pattern, you have a trend on balance of probabilities, that trend should reassert. And you should be able to get a fairly decent entry point with a, with a nicely tightly managed um, stop loss. And on balance of probabilities, you should be able to uh, get the move correct. If you're choosing really selective points um, in price behavior, and that is not the, the ramshackle everyday ebb and flow. What about um, traders being gamblers? What's your take on that? <clears throat> I think when we talk about traders, there's, we have to be careful about who we talk about. If you're a retail, because I think there's a societal element to this, because we know the banks have done immense damage um, to uh, people's confidence in them. You may get institutional uh, institutions that have balance sheets that have almost de facto guarantees and have bet the farm. If we think of the London Whale with JP Morgan, these are people that have basically been given an incredibly powerful balance sheet. They've well over leveraged and despite this, they make the profits on the upside and the downside uh, just sees them, the company get fined a slap on the wrist. So I think um, in essence of that, there has been, there sh there's a case to answer um, in terms of people taking a massive gamble with all the harvest on the upside and very limited downside. Um, however, a retail trader is using his own resources in a societal context it's um, not important if he chooses to be a gambler. From a personal level, he will in the long run destroy himself. Um, there is an addictive element to excitement and the enjoyment and the thrill of the punt. And I think what you have to do is you have to manage that. It's a demon you never totally control. Um, it, uh, there was a book about managing your chimp, which was a, a sports psychology book, and I think uh, it was Victoria Pendleton, one of the cyclists, said, can I kill my chimp? Because, you know, it was, she was having explained that this base level part of our characters often wants to intervene and do, make us do more primal responses uh, of thrills and spills. And the answer, of course, is no, but you get to manage him because the chimp is part of you. So it's a bit like cutting an arm or a leg off. And the same thing, my analogy, is that we have a demon, an excitement demon, a psychological thrill uh, demon that wants this quantum leap where you go from just being everyday guy to substantially wealthier a little bit later. And the more you allow this demon to play, the, long, the shorter your trading career will be and you'll have many hits. You have to contain him. Um, if you're taking managed losses, someone who's taking a managed loss of one, even two, even three to possibly five percent a trade, but never more, 
in an orchestrated way, has considered his risk reward and is applying a process and a system. Never in my view would I consider that person a gambler. Uh, I would call him uh, a trader and uh, if, he's doing, if he's achieving those things, a net accumulator in an orchestrated, systemic, intelligent way. Um, however, unfortunately, we've seen many instances where people just bet the farm and that, of course, usually comes down to an out-and-out -out punt.